Now, question 38 and 39 reads, find the lower quartile for question 38 and 39, find the mean. For us to answer these two, problem, two problems, we have to look at the instructions given to us here. Now, the question here says, the ages in years of some members in a singing group are 12, 47, 49, 15, 43, 41, 13, 39, 43, 41, and 36. Then we have to use the information to answer questions 38 and 39. Now, you can find this question in 2022 was a general mathematics and this is the answer i want to give to you i want to solve this problem for you so if you are interested on how we can be able to solve this problem then sit tight and enjoy this video now the question the first thing we are going to do is to organize this distribution that is given to us here we have to organize this in a frequency distribution and i have taken out time to do so already all right so we are dealing with quartile and mean so look at all the ages of the people given to us i represent it as x now the number of times each of these ages appears is what i call the frequency here so 12 appears once 13 once 15 once 36 once 39 once 42 to uh, 41 twice 43 twice 47 twice and 49 twice I have 47 ones and 49 um, ones. So if we add up all the frequencies, we are going to have what? 11. Now the next thing we are going to have here is to get a particular, uh, this particular value for f of x. What does this mean? Because if we are going to calculate for the mean, we will need the value for f of x. I'm going to show you that shortly. Just follow me with what I'm doing here, okay? So f of x means you multiply f and x together. So 1 times 12 will give us this. 12 times 13 will give us this. 15 times 1 will give us 15. 36 times 1 will give us 36. And if you multiply each of these values, their corresponding answers is what you see here. Now we are going to add up everything you see here. And in doing so, we have 3, 7, 9. The next thing we are going to get is the cumulative frequency. Why do we need the cumulative frequency? Because the question asks us to look for the lower quartile. And in order for us to get the lower quarter, we need the cumulative frequency. Now, how do we get all these values in the cumulative frequency? We got the CF from the F. How? Take a look at this first number one. There is no number at the top. So this one here will come here. Now, the next number below this one is one. One plus this one will give us two. Go to the next number in the frequency column, which is one. Add it to two, it gives us three. Go to the next number, which is one. Add it to three, it gives us four. Go to the next number, which is 1, then add it to 4, it gives us 5. Go to the next number, which is 2, add it to 5, it gives us 7. Go to the next number, 2, add it to 7, it gives us 9. The same thing you will do, 1 plus 9 is 10, and 1 plus 10 is 11. So these are all the values for the cumulative frequency. Now let us see how to apply this um, by going into question 38. Now in question 38, we are told to find the lower quartile. Now, the lower quartile has a formula. The formula for the lower quartile is Q sub 1, and that will equal to 1 upon 4 into N plus 1. Now, I am using this N plus 1 because the N talks about the total number of frequencies given to us, which in this case is what? 11. We are adding 1 to it because the 11 is odd. All right, so we have to make it even before we divide by, by what? By 4. So we come to the next step, we say our Q sub 1 will become 1 upon 4 into N. Our N is what? 11, based on what we have here. So put the 11 here, then plus 1. And this is going to give us 11 plus 1 is what? Is 12. Then we divide that by, by 4. If we divide 12 by 4, it will give us what? 3. So we are looking at the um, third item of the cumulative frequency so this this three that we got here is the third item of the cumulative frequency which means to get the for our lower quartile number what we have to do is to come to the cumulative frequency and look for three this is the third item of the cumulative frequency then we trace it to see the age that it is which is what 15 so you come here to say therefore 
the lower quartile is what is 15 that is 15 years so if we go to the option you will see that we have what 15 all right so c option c is the right answer now for question 39 we are told to find the mean all right so how do we get the mean to calculate the mean if you permit me let us do question 39 here let's do question 39 here now for us to calculate the mean the mean has a formula what is the formula for mean we have bar x to equals summation f of x divided by summation f so this is the reason why we needed this your f of x because we use it to calculate the mean so now what is the total f of x we already know the value the sum of all the f of x is 379 so if we have 379 divided by the total value for the frequency and the total value for the frequency is 11 so if we do this division we are going to have 3 uh, 4.45 as the final answer and if we come over to this place and check we are going to see that we have 3 4 point four five as the final answer so option c is the best option for this solution i'm sure you enjoyed this lesson thank you very much for spending time please share the content of um, this video with your friends and families and please subscribe if you have not done so already